Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, so something a little bit different today. Post hurricane walkabout. Yes, we got hit, I mean, not crazy hard yesterday, but hard enough to make a difference. In fact, uh, my internet is still out. It's been out since yesterday afternoon. I was 26% uploaded with my video yesterday and I was trying to attach a picture to an email and it wasn't working. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then I realized that I had lost internet, so it wasn't attaching the picture. And then my video stopped uploading. So there are places all around that are without power. And, uh, you know, like a lot of things down in the Vibe District are closed because they lost power. So I don't even know if Three Ships is open or not today, but we have power. So, you know, yesterday she potted and I drank a shit ton of cold brew and all is well. Today, what I'm gonna do is go out and I'm gonna take pictures and film, uh, you know, whatever kind of hurricane aftermath there is. So far, just leaving my neighborhood, lots of branches, leaves, shit like that down. I haven't seen any, you know, any crazy destruction. I mean, we didn't get hit full on hurricane. We just got the outer rings of it. If you watched yesterday's video, you could actually hear the rain slamming into the window, into the house. And plus, I showed you most of the video. The footage is all of, of the rain outside my window. And the wind was blowing really hard. So, again, we had power hiccups all throughout. And it got worse after I did the video yesterday. Because the worst part was supposed to come between, like, 6 and, and 10. And it did. Uh, to the point where there were tornado watches throughout the day. And I was like, man, I hope we don't get a freaking tornado when it's nighttime. At least in the daytime, you know, it makes it a little less frightening. But it, the wind did pick up sometimes to give us concern, but nothing too crazy. Now, I did see some pictures of the ocean front, so naturally that's where I'm going. And I am going minimal. So I brought my Insta360 ONE RS, and I brought another camera that's weather sealed so that I can take some pictures. But, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd, I needed to get out of the house. I literally did not step outside once yesterday. And, and that was like, Neh. And on top of which, you know, not having internet for a while, that was, that was pretty brutal. So there you have a long-winded way of saying that, you know, the hurricane hit us, but not that bad. And now I'm going to go out and play. And I got a new job. All is right in my world. So let's go play. Okay, kids, things are hopping down here at the boardwalk. And clearly there was a lot of storm surge here because look at all the sand that made it up onto the actual boardwalk itself. And you can see it goes back into the hotel, but there are a shit ton of people out here today and a lot of surfers because obviously bigger waves. Oh yeah, things are hopping and punching. This is a great day for surfers. I mean, there are literally probably hundreds of people out here it, all, along this one little stretch here that seems to get better waves than the rest of the shoreline, so. Clearly, there was a bit of storm surge here because there is sand and shit that's washed up here onto Pacific Ave in some spots. Uh, of course, there was a lot of rain, so I'm sure a lot of that got washed away. Not to mention, you know, people get out here and they clean shit. But yeah, I mean, there's a shit ton of sand in all these parking garages and even onto that side of the street. So now I'm going to, since I'm down here anyways, I'm going to go to three ships and see if they're even open. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, no, that's just worth it just to pull over and freaking show you that. Okay, well, it looks like they got rid of Dino World and just in time. So this is where Dino World was. It isn't anymore, but look at this big-ass tree that got taken down. I mean, look at the roots. That's a good 15, 20 feet high across, theoretically. All those branches taken out. Another big one up there. Craziness. Mother Nature's the boss. You can't mess with her. 
All the commercials tell us that too. Let's go to Pleasure House Point and, and if nothing else, just walk around. I do not have my birding set up, so every freaking bird and their mother is going to be out there, but that's okay because I'm just going to enjoy nature. Okay, so this entire area is, is flooded out and it normally isn't. And as you can see, there's an egret there. Way on the other side, there are like three egrets. There were at least a couple of herons. So probably no less than six to eight of them are out here now foraging in areas that are usually dry and sandy or kind of muddy, but grassy. I'm gonna go around to the other side because there, there's a little bit more access over there possibly, and I can hopefully get those birds. I know that I could try to walk through the woods and the tall grass because I could literally see those birds right there, but there's no way I'd get anywhere near them before they took off. So, yeah, shit on me. I just got a mouthful of spider web. Oh, look at that. There's a egret and a tricolored heron. I'm gonna try to walk over this way. So I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, so there went the egret and the tricolored heron. And now they're all, I mean, literally again, just watch them all take off. Okay, never gonna get around that way. So I did think ahead. So I'm going minimalist. I have phone that, oh. Yeah. I literally walked through uh, ugh, a spider web trap. They're probably all over me. It, it literally, I was opening my mouth to speak and it went into my mouth and it's all over my face. Yeah. Anywho, um, now I don't even know what the hell I was saying because now I'm thinking about spiders in my mouth. Okay then. So I have a feeling, I, I mean, I can even see it from here that a lot of this trail as I round the bend is gonna be underwater. Oh, that's what I was saying, but I thought ahead. So I have this Insta360, which eh, probably isn't all that waterproof because I have the battery and all that shit hooked up to it, but whatever. Uh, I have another camera that's weather sealed. That's what I'm taking stills on. And I only have my S22 Ultra, which is water resistant. So I'm not worried about that stuff. And I do have my minimalist running shoes on which are completely open and flowy so i'm full well prepared to get wet i guess is what i'm saying okay yeah so as you can see the trail is in fact underwater and i'm gonna try to hike it up here i mean usually the water's not that high although i'm not really thrilled about having to walk through this tall grass with shorts on i mean i kind of don't know why i'm even bothering to avoid this because inevitably this entire area is underwater. I'm gonna get wet. Oh, okay, yeah. Methinks I'm going to get wet now. Holy shit. Okay, this is still going to be treacherous because this is very deep. And I can't quite see. This is not warm either. Okay, this is, ah. Okay, now it's as if I pissed my pants. Ooh. Okay. That, that actually kind of took my breath away a little bit. 
That's not warm. There used to be a path here. I guess there still is. It's just a water path now. Let's just hope there aren't any freaking water moccasins. Or alligators. Or sharks. Or Nessies. Okay, I hope I have a, a good enough grip on my phone. But uh, yeah, so I'm walking through what used to be a path, which is now a waterway. And uh, yeah, I already got soaked back there. The water's up to my shorts. But that's why I came here to see this and to experience it. So yeah, otherwise it's a gorgeous day out right now. It's uh, as you can see, cloudy. There's a bit of a breeze, but that's why I wore what I wore which is nothing short of what I wear anytime, except for my shoe wear, my footwear, shoe wear, my footwear. Okay, so that was fun. That's uh, a lot of water. Okay, now we'll squish our way around here and, and see what we see. Good thing I decided to put on the freaking ND filter, huh? Even with it on, this is really blown out. Okay, so I almost just shit myself because I just walked up on this pond and all of a sudden, there was like almost like a wake, a rather big wake coming towards me. And then all this water started bubbling up. I was waiting for fucking Godzilla to come out of here and get me. Um, it also spooked a great blue heron that took off that way. But holy crap, man, that was really unexpected. Look at it like gurgling. That's still freaking me out. I'm still waiting for something to fucking come out of the water. Okay, moving along. Okay, now the bad thing is that I have a lot of sand in my shoes and I'm wet. So now it's wet and gritty sandpaper. Whee! See all that. I don't know if I wanna walk in that though because that's really kind of stagnant. Oh boy, this is really probably not a good idea. Oh, hope's dashed. <laughs> Although this doesn't look like it's too deep <clears throat> and it's not that far to the trail, so. I mean, to the main trail out here. I think I'll be all right. Oh, Jesus, that's cold. All the little fishies trying to swim away from me. You can go back the other way. I don't want to bother you. Okay, well, at least that rinsed some sand off the most of my foot. Okay pretty much got what I came here for. I got to see a lot of the area underwater. I got to get in the water. Knew that was going to happen. Didn't think it was going to be that high up that I got the bottom half of my shorts soaked, but at least it kept it off my pocket so that my wallet and my keys, you know, are okay. Okay, there's no shortage of freaking spider webs for me to walk into today. But that's okay, I guess, as long as they're not on me. All right, so I've had a pretty good time back here. Uh, you know, I always enjoy when I don't bring my birding setup and I just try to enjoy walking around. There are a ton of egrets and herons over there in that area that is underwater that isn't normally. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't really gotten shots of them anyways because there's too much tall grass and that's okay. Uh, I got wet a couple of times. I'm still very wet. My shorts are soaked and that's great. But again, this is all about coming out here and just enjoying myself. And I wanted to come and see how much water was still here. And there's a lot. I would imagine that yesterday in the thick of the storm that this entire place was probably underwater, but that would have been scary. So, and my wife wouldn't let me come. <laughs> so that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.